Wireless headset users beware. You know those hands-free Bluetooth headsets we use with our cell phones? Well, they're not as secure as you might think. Greg Gentner uses his Bluetooth device primarily in two places, at his desk. I can use that and multitask, you know, type on my computer to take notes. And in the car. But he's wary to use it anywhere else. Here in the office or in the car is a, is a trusted environment, so, um, you know, uh, if it's in a store or out in public, it's, it's a little more difficult. Everyone's listening. Cyber expert Teresa Payton says scammers eavesdropping on your private conversations is one concern concerned with Bluetooth, but not the only. One thing people think is, well, I'll just turn the device off when I'm not using it, which is good. That's a good first step. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is if you leave your, blue, your phone Bluetooth enabled, but you've turned off your device, it's like basically broadcasting, hi, I'm a phone, I'm looking for a Bluetooth. And it might be somebody you don't know who can actually connect into your phone. Then they can access your address book, photos, private information you keep on your device, anything. Now, Teresa says go ahead and use Bluetooth, but... Do turn off your Bluetooth device when you're not using it. The second is your manufacturer for your phone and your laptop have settings on it that you can set it so nobody else knows you've got a Bluetooth device and you can also make it private and not discoverable. That's what Greg does. Teresa says the good news here is that someone has to be near you in order to eavesdrop, but she reminds us just because you don't see them doesn't mean they don't see your device. I'm Kristen Miranda, America Now.